Alright, what's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and I am here with my third Wi-Fi battle video for Ultra Sun and Moon. Thank you for coming to this Wi-Fi battle. It was actually out a few days ago, but for some reason my audio was not in the video itself. So I had to delete that one, and therefore I have to re restart this whole thing, which is a drag, but it's going to be worth it at the end in my opinion. But anyways, yes, I'm back. Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas holiday and Happy New Year as well because we are closer and closer to 2018. Now for this Wi-Fi battle, we have a, uh, a passerby and he's got a lot of legendaries. He's got Guzzord, Hoopa Unbound, Vikini, Manaphy, Jirashi, and Shaman. Whereas on my side here, I'm looking forward to a OU battle, that's what I was thinking at the time. So I have Volcarona, Capifini, uh, Zapdos, Articuno, Savali, uh, Poison type, and then I'm going to use the Token form. And so, just having Zapdos and Articuno together will probably not work as well as you might think. It kind of works, but... Man, if you factor in Moltres in there, you have a team that's screaming for Rock-type Pokemon to come near. I'm really happy to say that my opponent has no Rock-type Pokemon, because, let's be honest here, I think Tyranitar or Alolan Golem will probably do some heavy hitting if that was the case, because I have, you know, Zapdos and Articuno, weak to Rock-type, we see Volcarona being quite effective to Rock-type Pokemon, so I'm really happy that my opponent just has Legendaries, but seriously though, that's... You know, anything can happen with a Pacify battle, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the main focus here is I want to use Volcarona, because Volcarona can actually handle a good portion of my opponent's team. You see Glazord being weak to Bug Buzz, Hoopa Unbound is weak to Bug Buzz. Uh, Vicani can't really do much to Volcarona. And then Manaphy, I have Gigi Drain for it. And then Jirashi and Shaman are weak to Fire. But other Pokemon like my Savali Poison or Grimmages, they're going to be usable. So, and I'm really happy to use Articuno as well because nobody uses Articuno for some reason. So, this should be a really fun match. I hope you guys I ended up liking the video, and I'm really sad that my audio wasn't working before, because honestly, that is, um, I don't know what was going on, because I tried uploading it, and I was watching the video, I'm like, where's the audio? And it wasn't going, so, my apologies. Anyways, let's get right into the battle. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so, I wasn't sure what my opponent was going to start out with. He has several options. Uh, but, so I decided to start out with Volcarona. Figured that would be the best start, because, again, most of his Pokemon are weak to Volcarona anyways. So yeah, I was going to start out with Glizzard. Looks really weird as a shiny. But, uh, I'm like, okay, so since he is a, since he has a full team of legendaries, it would be a good idea to set up right off the bat using Quiver Gas. And that's great, because my opponent uses Fire Blast after plus one, that's not going to do very much. Glazor can take a plus one Bug Buzz, apparently. And he uses Draco Mega Ear. Again, I am boosted in Special Defense. So, that Draco Mega Ear will not do as much as I thought it was going to do, which is awesome. Now, here I'm thinking he's going to switch out into a different Pokemon, such as Manaphy, because why would you want to stay in when you have minus two attack? or special attack rather, whatever is possible. I just didn't see him staying in there, so I'm like, are you going to switch out? Are you going to stay in? So he's going to end up sacrificing Guzzard, which is, I don't know, he is low on health, he's a little low on HP there, as I'm trying to say, and now he gets to bring in Victini. Victini can't really do much to Volcarona, but I do want to save my Pokemon there. And we're going to use Capifini because Capifini looks like a great candidate to handle 
the legs of the kitty and holy crap, that sun had butt there, that's doing a lot of damage. At the time of the match, I thought he was banded because he keeps using the same move over and over. I ended up surviving that hit right there. I just go for a surf, hoping for a KO there, but he ends up surviving. So he probably has some HP investment in there. Who knows? Again, he uses Zen Heg, but I should have switched out right there, but I really didn't have anyone that would want to take a potential choice banded Zen Heg, but Maybe Zapdos, but I want to save Zapdos for right now. <laughs> and here he goes again. This is his fourth straight Zen Headbutt. And man, I'm thinking, you're banded or scarfed. If one of those will work, because seriously, that is doing some damage. So I go for Volt Switch. We go into Articuno next, you guys. And I don't, I haven't really used Articuno, like, ever. The only set that it is okay for Articuno is a defensive wall. This one actually has Freeze Dry, Toxic, uh, Hurricane, and Water Pulse. So it's really bulky, has a lot of HP and defense, a little bit of special attack. Uh, but anyways, back to Zap goes here, and my opponent uses Flash Cannon, so I'm like, alright, you're gonna be stuck on using Flash Cannon, right? No, he actually uses Fire Punch. So before, I was like, wait, you're, you're choice. No, you're not. I'm so confused. So he was bluffing that for the whole entire match up until this point. Very, very weird. So we go back into Volcarona, and one of my main factors for the match, my opponent actually brings in Hoopa Unbound onto a Fiery Dance, and this is a red flag for my opponent because I have Bug Buzz Ready to go to knock him out. Well, yeah. I See, I don't know why he did that. That was a free KO for me. He probably did that because he could get a free switch in to Manaphy, in which I have Giga Drain right there to restore my HP a little bit. And then he could use Tail Glow, so maybe he was doing that on purpose with his Hoopa Unbound. Not really sure, but it's a... It's A-OK, -okay, guys. It's a really fun match. Just having fun. So when we see Manaphy signing up, I really don't want to take a Tail Glow boosted move. Now it's time to use our Articuno again, which actually takes a plus three. That's over half, so I have to survive this one so I can basically take him out. That's the idea there. Um, fortunately, the leftovers is going to help out here because look, I end up surviving with 13 HP. Unfortunately, um, we see that I, you know, I do survive the hit, but, you know, I use freeze dry, which is super effective. That's the idea behind that. I get burned. That's the idea because getting burned means I will not survive after this hit. So we might get a KO out of it, maybe. Or a double gown, as I should say. But, nope, that does not happen. We were close there. We were close. <laughs> I was hoping for a nice double gown to start off Ultra Sun and Moon. Unfortunately, that does not happen. But it's okay, because I can go into Volcarona and use Giga, Giga Grain, if I can say it right. KO the Benefit for all that it's worth. And then we can go from there. So he brings in Hiroshi. And Jirachi is going to use Fire Punch against me. Not going to do very much. I'm just going to wipe him out with the Fire Dance. I'm hoping for a boost. And he survives it still. I'm like, really? You must be max HP. Well, the fact that I didn't set up yet is also a factor, but it's okay. I'm hoping for another boost. Well, this is actually my first one. Before I was hoping for one, I didn't get it. But fortunately, I do get it right here. Now guys, this is the end of the match, okay? I really, really should have stayed in there because for some reason I thought he was going to use like, what, a coverage move on Volcarona there? But I, for some stupid reason, I end up going into Savali Poison on a Psychic. Had I left in Volcarona, Volcarona will go down, obviously, 
Let me bring in Savoy Fresh, survive a psychic, and use my poison type move, which would be super effective against Shaman. And then bring in Gummy Shoes, which would probably take that hit, as you see there with the Seafrare. And then finish him off with a Ice Punch. Unfortunately, that does not happen, so I lose this match. Man, that's unfortunate. And, um,. You know, you might be wondering, is Volcarona faster? No, because see, Psychic is going to wipe out Volcarona. Had I set up earlier, I might have been able to outspeed Shaman, but I didn't set up, so. Very unfortunate, but that was, that was still a great match. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully the narration is on here, because for some reason it wasn't before. And, um, Happy New Year! Hope you guys enjoy your New Year's. And this amazing start to your January, and I'll see you in the next Wi-Fi battle video. Alright, have a great day, trainers.